Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. If this is your first time, welcome. Glad you can be here. Sticking with uh, the trend of the week, we uh, are looking at artists that haven't been on the channel uh, yet, and it's been a year. And I know we haven't, we're just, like, we're just scraping the surface, man. We can be doing this for a long ass time and, and still miss a bunch of cats. Speaking of which, Capo is coming tomorrow. I know a lot of you cats have been asking for him. Um, so we're going to jump on Capo on Throwback Thursday. Um, so I, I have a ton of people reaching out to me on Instagram. I love it. Keep it coming. Um, uh, one of those cats is, is, is a guy named Lukey Story. His track's called Fuck Everyone. Uh, first time I'm going to hear anything from this cat. So I'm excited. Jump in. Give it a listen. See what it's all about. All right, all right. <laughs> not what I expect. I wasn't what I was expecting, man. Suze, to be honest, Suze, I saw the pink hair and the pink, the pink suit. I was thinking, um, you know, this may not be for me uh, because usually that that type of outfit and hair and stuff over here immediately makes you a mumba rapper. Um, and I, I don't listen to that stuff. It just doesn't do it for me. Um, but I, I, I like this guy's vibe, man. Uh, this little hook here. Uh, sounds nice. The the melody, the beat. Um, I don't know, man. It's like 10, 15 seconds in and I'm impressed so far. I am on on Feels like I have run out of luck with everyone. So fuck everyone. Fuck everyone. Feels like I have run out of luck with everyone. So fuck everyone. Fuck everybody. Fuck them. It feels like at times I have gone mad. There ain't too many people you can... <laughs> I gotta see that again. It feels like at times I have gone mad. There ain't too many people you can trust. I can count my friends on one hand. All right, man. All right. I'm liking this cat. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I said, this guy's vibe is cool. He's got an interesting voice. Going really, this flow goes really well with this beat. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just digging everything about this. Uh, yeah, it's interesting where he's he's talking about trust. He's like, I can count the friends he can trust on one hand. I find that the older that I get, uh, the less the amount of friends, the, the quantity of friends mean less and less to me. And it's the quality of friends that begin to make the most, uh, that, that, mean, that begin to mean more, more to you than any other thing, man. Uh, your time becomes... Uh, becomes a number one priority t uh, for you uh, and who you spend that time with uh, begins to uh, really take precedence over over your decision making about who you're who you're giving time to and who you're spending it with so um, I get that man there's not a whole lot of friends I can count um, you know if I break down on a rainy night and flat tire and I need help my maybe five friends I could count on that would I would go out there and lend me a hand um, so yeah, man, that, uh, that shit's true. With everyone, so fuck everyone. Fuck everyone, feels like I have run out of luck with everyone. So fuck everyone. Fuck everybody. Fuck them, it feels like at times I have gone mad. There ain't too many people you can trust. I can count my friends on one hand. Some of them will let you down without even meaning to. Some of them will give your girlfriend a good seeing to. Some of them have got a girlfriend, but they're seeing to. One of them is wifey, the other one is type B. I find it hard to trust anyone Nowadays your best friend would last over anyone And oh what a piss take The essence of a true friendship Is when you make allowances for their mistakes And what about loyalty I'm done with all this back uh, You know I see what he's saying there But I, I could kind of take it two ways with the, you know, the, the essence of a true friend Is like allowing your friend to make mistakes And like sticking by your friend Helping him through shit And at the same time I'm a big believer, like, uh, too many times we enable people where it's just kind of like, oh, man, it's just Bill. That's what Bill does. And uh, you just let it go. And uh, you actually allow people to, to treat you a certain way. Uh, we enable them. And, they, and, you know, if your friend keeps treating you the same way and you keep letting them get away with it, then, you know, they're going to do that shit to you until you finally say, no, that you know, I can't have this anymore. 
and they're going to look like somehow you're the bad guy. Um, that happens far too often with friends and family, unfortunately. Um, and then he gets right into the loyalty thing, which is interesting. Um, cause especially these days, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of loyalty anymore. Um, on a whole lot of different levels. So I'm going to bring it back here so just a bit. Uh, like I said, man, enjoying this track. A girlfriend, a good seeing too. Some of them have got a girlfriend, but they're seeing too. One of them is wifey, the other one is type B. I find it hard to trust anyone. Nowadays, your best friend would last over anyone. And oh, what a piss take. The essence of a true friendship is when you make allowances for their mistakes. And what about loyalty? I'm done with all this back and forth, treating unavailable women as if they're royalty. It's really bringing out the inner boy in me, and I love that kid. I got his back, and he can trust that shit. Mm, man, that's, I love that friggin' bar. I'll tell you why. Um, I was speaking to my therapist the other day. Yeah, I have a therapist. And you know what? There's nothing like, there's nothing to be ashamed about, guys. Uh, if you're going through shit, if you have stuff on your mind, you've dark thoughts, depression, anxiety, and that kind of stuff, talk to a therapist, man. It 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 doesn't make you any less of a man. It makes you it makes you more of a man. It makes you brave to be able to say, you know what, I'm a, I, I need help. Um, far too many years I spent just in the darkness carrying all that shit, carrying that whole load all on my own. Um, and speaking to a therapist makes a huge difference, man. Ten years ago, I was sitting in a chair ready to put an end to, end to everything So I thought the world would be better without me. Uh, here I am ten years later, and I got to meet all you cats, man, listen to some of the best hip-hop I've ever heard in my 47 years. Um, got kids that are university, kids that are in high school, uh, a loving partner, uh, I'm happier than I've ever been in my entire life, and I would have missed out on all that shit if I didn't talk to somebody. So please, if you're having some issues, talk to someone. Um, but speaking of which, that uh, like the thing where his inner kid, uh, it, you know, he says he's got his back, and that's kind of how I feel, man, because I, I, I saw some shit when I was eight, year, eight years old and younger that I should never have had to have seen. Um, you know, I, drug abuse, alcohol abuse, um, physical abuse, all kinds of violence, verbal, physical I uh, saw things happen uh, that I should never have seen. Um, and that shit sticks with you, man. It's like a stain that you can't get out. Um, depending on, you know, if you get some help, you're able to deal with it. But, you know, sometimes that inner kid comes out, man. And, and, uh, and I, like, uh, I like what Luke is saying here. Like he's, got his, he's got his back, man. Um, so, yeah, that, that, uh, that bar hits home for sure. Um, he's seen a lot, of, a lot of shit in this, man, that I think a lot of people are feeling, especially these days. Um, yeah, man. good track. About loyalty, I'm done with all this back and forth, treating unavailable women as if they're royalty. It's really bringing out the inner boy in me, and I love that kid. I got his back, and he can trust that shit. The way people going on makes me want to duck everyone. So fuck everyone. Feels like I have run out of luck with everyone. So fuck everyone. Fuck everybody. Feels like I have run out of luck with everyone. I love this hook, man. I love this hook. It's so good. <laughs> it's catchy. It's a catchy hook. So fuck everyone. Feels like I have run out of luck with everyone. So fuck everyone. Fuck everybody. Feels like I have run out of luck with everyone. So fuck everyone. Fuck everybody. Feels like I have run out of luck with everyone. So fuck everyone. Fuck everybody. Feels like I have run out of luck with everyone. So fuck everyone. A lot of this shit comes from having unavailable parents Girls with that damage, I'm not trying to go near them Cause it's too painful and I'm just like them As a kid I never got attention just like them We spend our whole lives just trying to claw that back Yeah, that, I mean that, I know that shit too, man He's basically saying, it's like, I don't like using the word, the word broken Cause I think it gets used too often these days But um, I think a lot of people do feel that way They feel broken, they don't feel whole they feel like they are in pieces, so to speak. And, and, and when you put yourself in a situation uh, where, you, where you enter a relationship with another person who feels the exact same way, it's kind of like having a, two broken teacups and you put all the shards on the middle of a table and you try to, you try to piece together, uh, and, they're, and they're both the same color, you try to piece together two teacups, man, and you don't know which piece goes with which, with which cup. It's an, it's an impossible task. Um, and I think that's the problem. You know, we get into these relationships. You're not even done putting together your 
your own pieces that are all over the friggin' place, but yet you're you're tasking yourself with the uh, or you're charging yourself with the task of uh, of you know building this person up too and helping them become whole, and you can't even make yourself whole. And that's just a recipe for disaster, man. That kind of shit just ends badly all the time. And for the longest time, because of the kind of uh, things that I grew up with dealing with, I always chased it. Uh, the girls that needed my that I felt like needed rescuing, so to speak, that needed my help. I was always after that. I always wanted to be the the Superman. I always wanted to be the one that swoops in and makes everything better. Uh, the problem is, I was so friggin' uh, tortured and, and shit going on in my own self. It always it always ended so horribly. Um, but I had a type, man. For the longest time, I had a type. A lot of this shit comes from having unavailable parents Girls with that damage, I'm not trying to go near them Cause it's too painful and I'm just like them As a kid I never got attention just like them We spend our whole lives just trying to claw that back We get obsessed with people that will never love us back And we always put our other half above us And when we think we got them, we push them away When they start to love us, ouch oh, What a poisonous cycle And we don't love Like I said, man, he's speaking truth it, it... You see it happen so many times, man, when you, one of your mates, uh, especially like in high school and college, one of your mates, you know, starts dating somebody uh, and then they, be, they become invisible. That person becomes their entire life and everyone, you know, a lot of people just do that, man. They just pour everything into this person and that becomes the only, the only thing that matters is this person. And you, and you put them above, you put them on this pedestal <clears throat> and then, uh, uh, when it falls apart, man, it feels like your entire world just shatters. Um, and, and because you put so much of your life into it, you don't feel like you have any life left. Uh, yeah, man, fuck. I'm digging this track. Them away when they start to love us. Ouch. A oh, what a poisonous cycle. And we don't love ourselves. How could we possibly relate? How? Suddenly. Remember, I, I, I talked about that earlier, man. If we can't even love ourselves, how we can't even... We can't even take care of ourselves and, and become whole and, uh, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. How the hell can we expect to help and love and be in a relationship with somebody else? Hmm. Above us, and when we think we got them, we push them away when they start to love us. Ouch. Oh, what a poisonous cycle. And we don't love ourselves. How could we possibly relate? How? Suddenly it feels like we ain't on the same page. And it's very difficult to change. So the way people going on makes me want to duck everyone. Why? So fuck everyone. Feels like I have run out of luck with everyone. So fuck everyone. Fuck everybody. Feels like I have run out of luck with everyone. So fuck everyone. Fuck everybody feels like I have run out of luck with everyone. So fuck everyone. Fuck everybody feels like I have run out of luck with everyone. So fuck everyone. Fuck everybody, everybody. Yeah, everybody, 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 everybody. Fuck everybody. Fuck. Fuck everybody. I said fuck them. Yeah, man, I gotta tell you, I really, uh, really enjoyed that track. It's it's very unique, man. And one of the things that, I'm, that we we've had this week is a bunch of unique artists. Um, and I mean, that's I, I, like all three of the artists we've had this week are completely different, and I, I freaking love it. And this guy, Luki Story, it's completely different than anything we've had on this channel. I'm digging this vibe. Uh, actually, he's got some shit too that he's put out with Ghost Town. Um, so maybe that's uh, you know something worth checking out as well, man. If you if you, if you dig this cat, um, I know that friggin' hook. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be walking around the house singing that like a, around my family. <laughs> It'll just be like unconscious. I'll just be singing around, fuck everyone. Hey man, it's a, it's catchy. What can you do? <laughs> but if you do, if you dig this cat, man, make sure you go over his channel, watch the video, give it a like, subscribe, maybe check out some more of his other shit. Because like I said, he's got some, got some stuff with Ghost Town and stuff. So we all know how we love us some Ghost Town on this channel for sure. I uh, appreciate everyone for coming out, being part of this. I love each and every one of y'all. I'm gonna try to get another video done tonight. I apologize that this is gonna take, uh, this is gonna be a late upload for you cats, I know that. 
um, because I've had all kinds of issues trying to record. So um, yeah, uh, I apologize. But hey, come Thursday, you're gonna have a bunch of shit to watch. So you know, I guess yeah, I guess that's good. Anyway, uh, once again, appreciate y'all. Till the next video, stay safe and be good to each other.